Yo, what's up guys? In this video, we are opening 90 booster packs. You know how we do it, guys. We always do it big. This is nothing new to us. Every Japanese set, we go crazy. And yeah, this one is a crazy one. Usually, boxes for Japanese sets are 40, 50, 60 pounds. Well, this one is anything between like 100 plus. You can't find it 100, less than 100 plus on eBay. 110, 120, 130 on eBay right now. Insane. This is the main set. Obviously, Shiny Star V is different. That one was like a hundred pound set, obviously higher retail, etc. etc. This is just the main set. This is just like matchless fighter, jet black poultry guys, just a normal set. But the hype is crazy. It's because it has loads of 200, 300, 400 pound cards. Um, EV has a big, big collector's base as well. There are Pikachu collectors, there's Charizard collectors, there's Ch uh, collectors for all sorts of Pokemons. But the next biggest one I would say is EV. So Pikachu, Charizard, EV. And EV comes with a lot of cards like one, two, three, four, five, six evolutions there. Are there more than just there? Oh, there might be more. No, that's all of them, right? That's all of the evolutions. So. Yeah, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that makes sense. So seven evolutions. So that is insane, guys. So make sure to like and subscribe if you want to see this. 90 booster packs we did, 60 on the weekend, making it we done in total 150 booster packs of this set. And I will be opening hundreds more. And then on the weekend as well, we're doing a box break. So we might open another couple hundred there. A couple of, we'll probably open a thousand packs of this set so if you love evolutions uh make sure to like and subscribe if you see my instagram story make sure to check out my instagram i post a lot of pokemon on my stories well sometimes anyways and yeah we that'll show you our delivery and if you want to buy packs or boxes go check out famousgrow.com we got the gym set let's show you the gym set boom this box right here last sold on ebay is like 500 quid uh we listed it at like 450 and that's probably che that's cheaper than ebay right now so yeah guys insane insane prices right now obviously i paid a ton, I played like double retail, over double retail for that, so don't worry, I did get hurt as well, so, yeah, and then these as well, I played like double retail, the VMAX boxes, double retail, well, VMAX boxes I got pretty good, but, um, well, my, I think my next shipment will be pretty good, but, yeah, guys, if you want to get involved, we have like Japanese, huge Japanese community in our Discord, and if you want to join our Discord, make sure to sign up to our YouTube membership, uh, gives you access to our uh, Discord where we post links to restocks etc but well, there's a huge huge Japanese community in there of Japanese collectors and yeah great people in there a lot of real like big I'm surprised how big the Japanese community we have is um, it was just like a subset in there and then yeah people find a lot of good deals catching a lot of things before they go up in price and yeah just sharing that passion obviously is always that's how the community is and yeah great community we have on our discord like all our members in the comments will tell you if, if members if you're watching this right now just let people know how good our community is on discord so yeah let's go guys boom boom and yeah 90 booster packs guys let's go and then boom where we go all right come on let's see what we got here oh we got got uh, Fro frostless or something I, I don't know how to pronounce that one i always get it wrong but we'll just fly through these because we got an all sylveon first time seeing this and it's a psychic type obviously there's no fairy energy in the sword and shield era they removed the fairy energy so it's going to be a psychic here so psychic uh sylveon or well, sylveon regular v <laughs> it's a psychic energy type of course oh uh, nothing there and obviously in these Japanese boxes there are a chance to pull two secret rares but you're always guaranteed one it, unlike English English doesn't guarantee you anything but Japanese guarantees you I believe three V's two V maxes and one secret rare and then you have the chance of pulling two if you watch our streams or watch our streams previously you know like we pulled loads and loads of uh, double secret rares but there we go we have the Leafeon V max let's go guys yo Got a lovely Leafeon, I was saying earlier, like, it's got the baby face out of the whole evolution set. It's got that cuteness there, and then Sylveon just, I don't know, I don't, I don't know why, but Sylveon just looks epic. And then, ooh, just an Espeon full art, but I'm happy it's not one of those stinker ones. We got an Espeon full art, so not too bad. I would want to say, though, the green does not complement Espeon at all. I don't know why the choice of color there. That's a problem with a lot of the full arts. So great characters, great full art, but terrible choice of color in the background. It doesn't complement it at all. Don't know what their thought process is or how they choose those colors. But Espeon full art for our secret. But could we pull another one since I was so early on in the box? Oh, guys, yo. Come on. Let's see what we can get here. We got the Entei. This artwork is amazing. Yo, I love how the hand is the forefront, not his face. It's 
that's kind of like different and yeah his hand is cool <laughs> but yeah let's go uh boom come on let's see what we can get oh i've got the eevee i'm not sure if i've seen you but you can see that requires a teaser there then we've got jolteon here so we'll take that jolteon boom but yeah our first opening was insane our first secret rare was insane both secret rares were insane that we pulled in our first video which is live friday which is tomorrow and then saturday another chilling rain booster box one week early uh we've opened three booster boxes of chilling rain and then this video will go live I'll, I'll drop this one on Tuesday. This video will go live Tuesday because we have the box break on Sunday. So that'll be a couple hundred booster packs, guys. So yeah, ooh, ooh Glacy on there. Let's go. And I reckon at least one more V minimum to get. And then we can double up on the Vs. We can get four to five Vs, I reckon. Um, but yeah, we'll see here and we'll work out. But that Pikachu, lovely. It looks a bit weird. It looks a bit squarish, but it's all right it's a pikachu and at least at least it, as long as it doesn't look clapped like the crimson invasion one we're all good guys so yeah let's go and then jo uh flareon sorry flareon and uh, you guys know i'm not the biggest fan of the regular artworks but sylveon and umbreon do look good in regular v's this one not so much uh the five band artworks have been poor uh but yeah boom there we go we got a zorark here Oh, Espy on there. Well, this one's a little bit better, but then again, it just it makes it look like a rat. I don't know. I'm just giving you my honest opinion every time. But uh, I don't know why we get the terrible Sylveon cards today. Uh, we got the full art, but yeah, there we go. We got four Vs. And then boom, we'll see what we got. We got a load of packs left. So many packs left. Can we get a double secret rare, guys? Oh, I'll just rush through these. I think we'll just get a hollow rare, maybe another V or V Max. We got my shadow there. So I hate when they give you the code cards, so much more to sort when you're doing the quick openings, but look, there we go. So yeah, let me know if you're liking this, but, oh yes, well, this VMAX is, this is just a regular VMAX and it just looks like a crazy alternative, I'll look at the artwork on that. So what, that is third VMAX card, so that is nice, we'll take that, all this pile is going to get big, it's going to be a messy day today. 150 packs and now i got over 50 booster boxes so we'll open some more in the future guys but boom we got grim snarl there and yeah i'm mainly gonna keep like oh, too many good cards in this set too many good cards and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna wait for the english equivalent which will be evolving skies and i'm gonna chase every single ev not the v's but i'm gonna chase every single ev v max most of them anyways because umbreon one looks clapped and then all the secret alternative arts all of them want to collect in english i'm gonna go crazy when they come out in english but oh wow a lot of packs not too many hits but we did get three v maxes there which is nice to see oh yeah we're on to box number two guys there's gonna be a huge opening 90 booster packs no one does it like us uh if you see our other videos like jet black poultry guys we did 120 silver lance 120 remix about we've opened over a couple hundred um in total so yeah, we just done so many and obviously we do our box breaks as well, but I don't count them as my openings because I'm opening packs for others. So it's not like that opening is mine because I am opening other people's cards, etc. So I'm talking when I'm talking about we open a lot, I'm talking me personally. But then we have our box breaks, which is 200, 300, 400 packs, box breaks. And we've done 800 for Matchless Fighter as well. Uh, so yeah, we've had a lot of crazy ones, guys. So if you want to get involved, make sure to subscribe guys because yeah if you want to get obviously packs are cheaper for youtube members we might do an ev heroes twice depending how many boxes i have left but these cards are a bit to the top so i don't want to cut them right now so uh we might be doing ev heroes again this week because we did one last week it depends if we have any packs left on our site or um ebay etc from our box break depends how many open box break i've taken five for myself uh might keep one sealed etc but um depending how many we might do another box break so if you want to get your packs famousgrail.com um we might have box break link there and then also so on famousgrail.com they're a little bit more but if you wanted them cheaper go join our youtube membership they're a bit cheaper for our youtube members because it was a perk for our youtube members but since i have so many boxes so many packs i've opened it up to you guys because i've been ordering more so more everyone can get involved if you want to get involved you can get involved but here we've got the umbreon v max which absolutely i hate the artwork of it umbreon is my favorite evolution but the artwork is not <laughs> not not my favorite i'll say that uh so yeah we, we got espion full art for our secret rare last box what will it be in this box can we get an alternative art come on so i'm gonna bang through these because there's so many but unfortunately i didn't cut them too well so boom 
Come on. Alright, Grim Snarl. So we'll put that there. Nothing there. What do you guys reckon? Are we gone? Oh, Umbreon Full Art. No. Oh, so we just got the regular Umbreon Full Art. This one, no, I won't need this one and it comes in English. Like, the, again, same with the Espeon. The, the background doesn't complement the card. Like, maybe if it was just all this color, blue and green, but then they put this bit pink there. If it was this purple all the way, that would look better. But if they did it one, two colors, like there's four or five colors there. So I don't know what's going on with the combination of full arts. I'm maybe trying to make it pop, but could have made it nicer, you know what I mean? Uh, but yeah, it just doesn't. It's black, so a lot of things can go with black. Whereas this green and pink does not work at all. Um, but yeah, two full arts. I was getting gassed. I thought we had a sick hit. We had our first hit was insane. It was a 300 pound card. Go check out that video. We got Raichu Hollow there first time in this video. I think we pulled that one. Uh, but boom, come on. Didn't cut these too well. But there we go, Flareon V. Put that there. All right, come on. Hopefully there's another secret rare because we've got just two full arts all there. So, ooh, that's all of them. Sorry, that one didn't get the grip of that one properly. Nothing there. These ones are cut nicely. So, wow, where's all the hits, guys? We should get, like I told you earlier, the pull rates in the last box we opened. So, just remember those pull rates for future reference when you're opening Japanese Sword and Shield era stuff. But there we go, we got an Umbreon, and this artwork looks better than the VMAX and the Full Art Seeker. So, yeah. The, the, I would say, I don't know which one it is. I think the alternative art is okay, but I don't know. I don't know why I'm being so fussy about the artworks. I think because they messed up with having some of the artworks looking clapped. But this one is absolutely insane, guys. Like, look at this state of this. Like, insane. This one looks like an alternative art, but it's not. Like I said it before, fills up the card, like, Super dope, really, really good card. So, yeah, shout out to whoever designed that one. You can pause it and have a read of the illustrator, anyways. But, really good artwork that is. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe the Umbreon, if you've seen the Umbreon V Max, it just looks a bit dopey. Maybe the V Max is a bit like, ugh. but yeah, well, there we go. We've got Vaporeon, not my favorite one, but obviously, being one of the original uh, evolutions, I do not mind it. Uh, but let me put this there. I do not mind it being one, obviously the, fo is it fossil or jungle? Now I'm getting confused, I think it's jungle. I think it's jungle Vaporeon. That one looks cool, that artwork obviously, being a nostalgic card, but in general, not all Vaporeon artworks do look that great. Now come on, hopefully we can get something good here. Nothing there. Oh, there we go, we have Leafion and I said this one's not bad because it's got that like, baby face so it keeps it that cuteness going on there oh, Come on, let's see if we can get another secret right here Alright, then this one guys, this card, this one comes in a golden secret and you do not want to pull that I don't, It might be worth a bit, but it's just not a nice card, but yeah, Glaceon, I do like Glaceon as well I don't know why I'm being picky because there's just so much choice here. It's just evolutions, evolutions, evolutions. But I don't know. I like it. I love how this whole set revolves around one species uh, of Pokemon. Like just evolutions. Usually have a mixture, uh, but all of them literally. Uh, it's, cool. it's cool. It's cool, guys. So yeah. All right, come on. Oh, we got Eldegoss. Oh, what we're we gonna have here? Nothing there, and the very last pack, so we flew through that one pretty quickly. Very last pack, I don't want to damage the card, so hold on. Nothing there, so yeah, we got our, our Umbreon Full Art Secret Rare, so not too bad being an Umbreon, I do like it. wonder what the regular Full Arts are going for when you have cards like those alternative arts on there, like... Are they a bit less? People don't want them. They just want the alternative arts. Or people collecting the full arts as well. I don't know. I'm very, very picky when it comes to my collection and how I collect. I think, like I said before, I'm just going to focus on the English variation. Because if I'm collecting English and Japanese, it's going to be expensive. Because I'm going to be opening more boxes. The retail value of these boxes are high. Uh, I mean, the cost of these boxes are high. Retail at some stores are too high. Like in Japan, they're not cheap. You can't get them at retail. You got into lotteries and stuff. Um, so yeah, 
So if I was to complete the set, I would need to buy more, which is gonna cost me more than it should do. And yeah, but I'm gassed that we pulled the crazy, crazy cards in our one of our openings already. Oh, I chopped the card, but I think it's just a code card, luckily. Um, but yeah, don't know my scissor getting blunt. Need to buy some new scissors before we do more box breaks. But yeah, come on. So boom, let's go. And yeah, the thing is, I think, I reckon how well it is, is if I keep one of the alternative arts, because we pulled the crazy alternative art in our last video, and if you haven't seen that, go check it out. Insane, 300 pound alternative art, VMAX. Uh, but boom, oh, there we go, just a Elder Goss there. Um, and if I start keeping, like, if I keep one, then I need all of them. And if I need all of them, it's just going to cost a lot of money just to open and crack all these boxes. We are, oh, 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 no. Oh, no, not this guy. Oh, like I said before, you do not want to pull a stinky train off Seeker and what we do, we go pull it. So there's not the best opening five boxes, but it is what it is. Uh, our first one was insane, so not too bad, guys. But yeah, like I said, if I'm hunting one, and I, if I get pulls like this, it's gonna be very, very hard to complete what I want and that I need in my collection. So if I say wait for the English one, it'll be worth it because um, there's more cards I'm gonna chase. There's the Rayquaza one as well in there. So I'm doing two birds and one stone. I, I reckon the Rayquaza one I want in Japanese as well, being one of my favorite childhood favorites. But this set, just Japanese. I just thought I just. Just letting you guys know, but yeah, we should be opening probably near to a thousand still. I will be opening a lot, just um, if I really wanted to, I'd be opening a couple thousand. But yeah, well, because we got box breaks as well, we'll be doing about a thousand plus, I reckon. Uh, so yeah, let's see what we get here. We'll swamp it there, and then these two over there. Ah, oh, hopefully there is another secret rare. If not, uh, L's, but yeah, let's go. Nothing there. So they're just regular full art secret rares here. So it shows you the W's and L's of these boxes. Obviously we've got Umbreon, we've got Espeon full art. Uh, but everyone just wants the rainbows maybe. They want the alternative arts mainly. I think everyone just wants the alternative arts. The alternative art game has changed from the Sun and Moon area, but the Sylveon is still my, one of my favorites out of like the VMAX slot for sure and the V slot. So yeah, like the non-secret rares, Sylveon has to be my favorite. I wouldn't, I didn't even rank Sylveon that highly, but uh, will this mean Hidden Fates go up? Will all the evolutions and Hidden Fates, will the Hidden Fates prices go up once it goes out of print due to the evolutions and the Charizard? But yeah, there we go, Flareon. For a long time, I remember when Umbreon was a £20 flood shiny card, uh, but we got Grimmsnarl there. So, and then evolution hype kind of kicked in mid to last year. Very cheap for a long time, all the evolutions in my experience. Like, someone gave me an Umbreon uh, full art shiny for free on eBay because they messed up my order. So, it shows you how little value they had before. Now that Umbreon is about a hundred pound card, but we've got Umbreon just now. Talk about Umbreon, I do like the regular V artwork though. So, that one we're going in my collection. Let me put in my collection now, otherwise I'll forget. Uh, centering looks good enough. Um, but yeah, I'm not too fussed. So I think I might grade it with CGC or something like that, but. And Ente as well. Some of these holo rares are definitely going to grade with CGC. I was thinking about doing videos with UK grading companies, but none of that. All of them just seem like a. They don't have longevity. None of them do. I can't put my. Like, get graded probably the biggest because they started first or, or had the biggest push or. The bad, bad publicity was good promo for them. But, um. Well, no one has a pop report. No one has a certification search where you can search up your certification number. So it doesn't have any. Your cards don't have any value without pop report and that having that certification. I've seen one company have like microchips in their thing, which is a good touch. But then again, their branding is awful. So yeah, I don't know what we're gonna do with grading with UK companies. I think I'm just gonna hold it off because obviously, if I'm gonna spend ten pound a card, it's a lot of money, guys. You're sending ten cards as a hundred pounds. It is a lot of money at the end of the day. And and you don't want to do it on a company that's not going to be worth it so yeah i'd rather spend the same money and do it where somewhere somewhere where it has longevity and it has a good name to them so yeah boom i almost finished this is a little bit grading talk in there as well i'm sure you guys like that hopefully uh, inspire some of you guys with your grading choices but yeah not the craziest of secret rares but it shows you the bad and good of these boxes 
We did pull an uh, awesome one earlier. Our box break should be live by the time this video is live. So if you wanna see that video, we probably opened a couple hundred packs there as well in a live stream. So go check it out if you wanna see pool rates. But guys, make sure to like, make sure to subscribe. And yeah, wow, I'm tired, 90 packs there. And I've opened a couple hundred packs today. So this is my last one for today. And yeah, make sure to like, subscribe, share if you want. I've never said share, but I'll see you in the next one. Peace.